Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will learn about Web 3.0. Before that, we should know about what Web 2.1 and Web 2.0 are. So here we have a couple of websites from the 90s. I don't know this to be honest. If you know or visited these websites back then, then please comment down. Back then websites are just simple text and images and some links. We have here example of Amazon and Apple websites from back then. It's simple just text and some images and links. So this was Web 1.0. As you can see it's a very different experience from what we have now. So Web 1.0 is nothing but just showcasting some information. The users cannot interact with the web, just grab the information present there. It's a one-way communication like a television. Now if you look at present, here is the website of Apple and Amazon. You can see the difference clearly. Now you can interact with the websites, you can create account, purchase things and lots of other things. So all this together is called Web 2.0. This term was popularized in around 2004 and it signifies the timeline shift in how the experience of websites and the internet. We went from basic text, images and links to all these things you are seeing at present. So this is all about Web 2.0. If you see a typical user experience on the web, they have front-end and the back-end. The front-end is the one that user sees and back-end is the thing that happens in the background that users don't see. So this is our front-end for Apple website in Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. You can see and feel how drastically it has evolved. But if you see in the back-end perspective, the backend hasn't changed much in Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. If you do not take account on all the complex algorithm that sits in the backend, the whole structure or architecture of how people interact with the website is through the centralized approach. There is central server for instance, here there is an Apple server and we are requesting things from the central server and we are getting information back stored from that central server. So this is where blockchain can play huge part in Web 3.0. So here is Web 3.0. The front-end can be different and similar to Web 2.0, but what we need to discuss here is the back-end. Well, this is where blockchain can play a major role. It can move from the centralized web to the decentralized web. Let's have a look at this decentralized back-end in detail. So here we have people from all around the world and we know we are all interconnected. And let's consider Facebook. It has its own central server and all the data are stored there. And we are interacting with Facebook or Facebook servers and services which then allows us to connect with each other. So we have this middleman Facebook which means we are interacting through a central server. So they have control over our data, over our privacy. They can show us the ads they want to show us. They can charge us if they want to. So there are lots of control that we are giving away to them. Whereas in Web 3.0 with the blockchain approach, instead of central server we have decentralized server. With blockchain used for storing the data. You know the concept of blockchain, how it works. There would be smart contract that will govern how this application work. Now the control over your data will be stored using the private keys on the blockchain and only you would have access to your own data through your private keys. You can choose who can see your data. So that means you get control over your own data. Because it is not stored on the central server, instead here there are decentralized server. So this is all about how blockchain can contribute in Web 3.0 and I would like to suggest you this article on Medium, why the Web 3.0 matters and you should know about it. Do check it out, I'll provide the link in the description. And so on this note, we are ending our course here. This is our last video and I hope you enjoyed throughout the whole course and learned something. So this is my first course, I hope to make more course on future and thank you for tuning this course. See you next time, goodbye.